Here are three easy outfits I know any of you guys can pull off. Give this video a thumbs up, help your boy out. Let's check out the fits. So for this first outfit, this is typically a fit you're going to see me in. Very simple, and it pulls a lot from skate culture. I picked up this graphic long sleeve from Adidas. More about this in an upcoming video as Adidas did send this item over. Now on the day I filmed this outfit, it was about 70 degrees or 21 degrees if you guys are in the US. And long sleeves are perfect for this type of weather. You guys saw my spring essentials video. I always recommend long sleeves because for the colder weather, you can just swap to a crew neck or a hoodie. And for the warmer weather, your standard long sleeves just fine. And this one in particular is a light baby blue, so it's not gonna absorb too much heat from the sun. The fabric is very light and airy, and yeah, it's good energy. Then from my knowledge with the color wheel, I know that blue and green are next to each other meaning they are analogous colors which is a form of color blocking that I thought I'd try out so blue and purple blue and green either of those works those are analogous colors and I really like the graphic on the shirt it has a bunch of different people different bodies different shapes and on the side of the shirt it says don't be afraid of who you are and I vibe with that and for the pants you guys have seen me talk about these already these are corduroy pants from folk in an olive color fit is straight cut simple but the texture of the pants is what gives the fit a little more dimension rather than it just being some pair of green trousers and why not pair it with a pair of converse chucks i made a video on this already i'll leave a link in the description where you guys can check it out because converses are perfect for this kind of fit i guarantee you in the 80s and 90s Corduroy pants, Converse's, they were always worn together. Both have that retro vibe. The black and cream always works with olive tones. My favorite. And it's okay to cover up your Converse's. It's okay to show off the crew socks. Fashion shouldn't be fixated on one way to wear something. That doesn't make it fun. And then I topped it off with a beanie, some rings, and a tote bag that I got from the van store for five cents. And this is an outfit I'd totally skate in. I'd switch out the Converse's obviously for some vans or some blazers or something like that. Because I personally wouldn't skate in Converse's, that's just me. But yeah, the overall tones, the vibe, just radiates with that spring energy and I'm all for it. I do miss the layers though. So speaking of layers, not every day of spring is nice. There's April showers, it's gonna be cloudy days, can be a little bit chillier. So let's start with the Y3 overshirt. It's elongated to give your fit some more dimension. You may think it's way too warm, but actually it's what I said it is, an overshirt that's actually quite ventilated. And it might be because of the ripstop fabric. It's not very stuffy inside. It's very thin as well, but still keeps me warm because it covers up my arm. I'll go into more detail about this item in an upcoming video as well, but I got a white tee underneath to play with contrast color blocking. The trousers come from all of clothing they're cropped but i don't think they sell these anymore but i really dig the store it's super minimal and casual perfect for those of you guys that are into smart streetwear or minimalism the pieces are simplistic but they are tastefully simplistic then white slip on vans a black dad hat and i only messed with white and black with this fit but then i decided why not throw on this new bag that i got from fundamental this is a japanese brand that focuses on denim and denim patchwork and y'all should really check them out they got really good stuff the bag was obviously the statement piece so that's why the rest of the fit is so simple the navy blue and texture of the bag really pop off on the fits and it really gives this fit that Japanese cherry on top. For this last fit, you briefly saw it in my Converse's video, but I wanted to break it down a little more. So starting off, this is worn with the Vans Old School in the black and navy colorway. This was gifted to me by Vans, shout out to Vans. I wish it was a pro model so I can skate it, but I'm just happy Vans was down to send anything over. So it's a lifestyle model, not very comfortable, but it still looks really good. The bottoms are the Levi's Carpenter pants. These were on sale for 30 bucks and I couldn't resist, and it's definitely a relaxed fitting pant. And when I got these, I knew they were really hard to wear because they were a purplish maroon color. This is a colorway of pants I've never worn before. I didn't think it would look good with a black shirt because it'd be too much dark tones. So I knew it had to be a lighter color, which is why I wore this oversized shirt from Oray NYC. I cuffed the sleeves three times to switch up the look of the top. I thought leaving it uncuffed looked just okay. And rolling up the sleeves kind of slants the way the sleeves drape, which I liked. This is a casual fit, nothing professional. So I just thought I'd have fun with it. And then I threw on this cap that I got from Carhartt WIP. I burned it myself because I wanted to manufacture my own wear and tear. You could obviously just let this wear out over time but hey man why not then i threw on this bag from grumichi that's olive which in my head i'm like okay cream and olive they always go together purple and green gives off the hulk vibes and black and olive they always go together plus the bag the pants the shoes 
those are technically all analogous colors. Which is why I really dig this fit. I stepped out of my comfort zone with the pants, but only use accessories to add different pops of colors that I wasn't used to doing. So try that out for yourself if you're uncomfortable wearing a bunch of different colors. Start off by using accessories so you can get more comfortable rocking colors. I know you guys have depressed wardrobes and a ton of black. And then I picked up this Zia symbol from the Balloon Fiesta in New Mexico back in 2019. I added it to my bag for some extra detailing, you know, showing where I'm from with a safety pin that came with a clothing tag that I got. Definitely don't sleep on the pins. You can add your own personality to your fits with that. Maybe it's your favorite shoe. Maybe it's your country's flag. I don't know. Have fun with it. And those are my spring fits, but I wanna see yours. So you're probably thinking, Johnny, how am I supposed to send you a fit pic? Well, I wanna tell you about this new app that my friend actually developed. It's called Vibly. So with this app, basically think of it as a hub where we can socialize. So first up, click that link in the description, download the app and join the family because I wanna see if my advice actually works. If you guys have been watching my videos, I wanna see the progress you guys have been making. So when you join the family, every other week, there's going to be some type of challenge. Currently this week, it's the spring fits challenge. I want to see you guys' spring fits. And then we'll move on to other different types of challenges. You guys can suggest your own. We'll try tech where maybe we'll try fit picks or photo editing. And I can give you guys tips as well. You know, challenges that you guys probably know me for. And you guys can try yourself. You guys can all chat with each other. Get to know each other. Post your fit picks in there. Give each other feedback. And the app is completely free. It's not going to cost you anything unless you want it to. And I will personally be in there chatting with you guys. Giving you guys feedback. Nobody else is going to do it for me. Because like I said, I want to get to know you guys help you all out at a deeper level more than just a homemade youtube video you know what i'm saying so click the link in the description download the app join the family i'll see y'all in there deuces also give the video a thumbs up